क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द चैप्टर टू सी द माइक्रोवेव ट्रांसमिशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सर्क्युलर टाइप ऑफ द वेव गाइड हियर सो आई होप नाउ इट इज़ वेरी वेरी क्लियर दैट सर्कुलर वेव गाइड इज नथिंग बट ए हॉलो मेटेलिक ट्यूब दैट इज हैविंग ए क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ सर्कल देयर द एनालिसिस वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सिलेंड्रिकल टाइप ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम एंड एज इट इज़ वेरी वेरी क्लियर दैट the ideal type of mode of propagation that is transverse electromagnetic tem is not possible there we have either the possibility of tem mode of propagation or pm mode of propagation so as before we have already finished with the analysis by tem mode of propagation the corresponding equations we have seen and also solved two problems in the last video we have seen the tem mode of propagation the transverse magnetic we can say here so let us solve a first problem based on to it so here we are provided with the problem statement problem number 1 it is an air filled circular wave guide has a radius of 2 cm and is to carry the energy at a frequency of 10 gigahertz find all the te suffix np and tm suffix np modes for which the energy transmission is possible the problem statement is very simple and short as per the problem statement the dielectric which fills up the cavity inside the wave guide is nothing but the air here whereas the inner dimensional radius for the corresponding circular wave guide is of 2 cm so either we can put it rho is equal to 2 cm or small a is equal to 2 cm now there it is the energy transfer for the operating frequency of 10 gigahertz through this circular wave guide and now for this given the dimensional values and the operative frequency with the specified dielectric material we need to determine how many of the transverse electric and transverse magnetic modes of propagation are possible inside the device here we can say so this is the passive device we can say here so let us begin to have identification of the various modes of te and tm here now as we know that the physical dimensions as per the problem statement are of course a constant here also the operating frequency is not changing it is also the constant so the dimensions and that of the frequency when both are constant so in such a situation it implies that the product of the cut off wave number kc into the radius of the circular wave guide cross section so this is also equal to a constant and as we have analyzed all these equations with the help of the bessel's function the corresponding roots we have denoted basically we have the x dash root denoted for the product of wave number kc into the radius a here so here the value of this particular x dash is to be known and it is now to be a constant for this particular case so this particular multiplication of kc with a is basically omega c the cut off angular frequency in multiplication to the square root of mu 0 into epsilon 0 for the air dielectric material into small a as it is so this is the kc we have determined here so let us have the constant value determined corresponding to this x dash or the product kc into a so therefore we continue this equation kc into a is equal to in the place of omega c we put omega is equal to 2 pi f so 2 pi into here we shall be making the use of the operative frequency as it is 10 gigahertz 10 into giga is for 10 to the power 9 here so you can get it combined to the form 10 to the power 10 here so this is the omega c and now as we have the multiplication by 
square root of mu 0 epsilon 0 we can put it to be the 1 upon c so 1 upon c is nothing but the velocity of light into the free space here so that it is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 the light is of course a microwave we can say here so now here we have substituted omega c the square root of mu 0 into epsilon 0 here so this is the bracket part and the small a that it is of 2 centimeters so we multiplied these by 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 so this results into the value of kc into small a is equal to 4.18 here so this is the value of x dash we have obtained here now to check whether which possible modes are there operative for the given circular waveguide under consideration, we can compare the value of this 4.18 with the others here. So now when you talk about the TE11 mode, the dominant one, so in that particular case, we have the value of X dash to be 1.18. 841 when we have the selection of te21 so we have the value of x dash or the product kca is equal to 3.054 also for the case of te01 we have the value 3.832 here similarly for the tm mode when we go for tm01 we obtain 2.0 405 the lowest value in the transverse magnetic and now when we go for tm11 it is 3.832 here so now when we have all these values corresponding to the three modes for transfer electric and two modes from the transverse magnetic we come to know that the values of kc into a are less than that of the 4.18 that we have obtained for the current situation into the waveguide under consideration so to look at the operation of the device so we want the value of kc into a to be smaller than that we have obtained which is the maximum here so i can say that these are nothing but the possible modes of propagation inside the circular type of the waveguide as provided in the problem statement here so these are all possible d t11 t21 t01 tm01 tm11 those modes that are having the product of kc into a to be greater than 4.18 will not be the possible modes of propagation in the given circular waveguide so this is the answer to this particular problem statement so by the next lecture we shall be addressing a practice of another problem which has a concept that we have dealt so far for the circular type of the waveguide especially we shall be having a focus on to the transverse magnetic mode of wave propagation so i hope you are definitely getting benefited with the knowledge we share in the form of the theoretical concepts the practice of the problems for the subject microwave engineering so for more information and the details you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you